Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, we're back at the Barber Half Dollars, as you can see. So we're trying to fill the album, and I've got another three different years, all the different mint marks, to add to the book. So let's do it. All right, so we've got the page open here. We're going to do 1909 and 1910. We do have one... 1910s, but all of these that I'm doing today have three or less coins in the whole year run. So they were missing some of the branch mint releases. So 1909 Philadelphia is first up, and you might notice that in the crown you can read almost completely Liberty. And if this one hadn't been previously cleaned, it would bump it up in grade. But this one, <laughs> as with most of these, has seen better times. And I can feel just by having it in my hands that it's been cleaned or something's happened with it. So, But it's a nice book filler, plenty of denticles, and enough rambling. Let's get it in the book. All right, so 2,368,000 minted of this one. And we're happy to put that in the book. All right, next up, 1909-0, New Orleans Mint. No denticles uh, all the way around, plus quite a nick right there. But... Still happy to have this. It's the final New Orleans minted half dollar. And that is significant. So scratches all around. But happy to have this one. Only 925,400 minted. All right, next up. 1909S. And this one... I think, I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination, but the surface of this one looks pretty decent. Uh, I know it's been cleaned or manipulated or whatever, but San Francisco Mint in general makes good stuff. So <laughs> um, I've got denticles all around, and then the reverse, it's a little bit a little too worn on this side for my liking, missing some denticles along there. But what's noteworthy about this one is the mint mark. It's inverted S, and that's a variety within this particular date and, you know, mint. So, so you can appreciate that the lower portion of the S in this case is very thin compared to the upper portion. And it's supposed to be the other way around. So that makes this one a little bit extra special. And the value on these in like G4 condition without the inverted S is around $42. Um, but with the inverted S, it jumps up. And the value is like 65 to $100, depending on condition. This one, I think the reverse drags it down in this case. Usually the reverse on Barber Coins is what lifts it. I can almost read the entire Liberty in the crown, and that's a uh, grading uh, threshold. If you can read so many letters within the crown, it bumps it up a grade. Let's quit rambling about it because it doesn't matter. This has been cleaned and it's not going to grade out. So it's still pretty cool, though, to have the variety. So let's get it in the book. Let's zoom back out a little bit here. So 1909S. We'll root that one in. And I did take out the 1910 s to be ready for a replacement this one has seen better days you can barely make out the mint mark all right next up is the 1910 philadelphia minted and you can see no mint mark below 
Reverse, not in the best condition, can barely read the E Pluribus Unum, but very few minted of this one, 418,000 only. So that is cool to be able to have this in the book. And maybe someday I'll get one with detail in the wing. <laughs> but for now, this one's going to do. So 1910 Philadelphia. There you go. Looking good. So I mentioned the, the uh, 1910 S that I was replacing. Uh, here we go. So... Nice denticles all around. And again, San Francisco minted coins usually are very well struck. This one's got some damage there at, on the rim. And so that's disqualifying for sure. Um, but happy to have this as a book filler. It's got quite a bit of detail otherwise. And very, very nice. This one... Mintage, 1,948,000. So still a decent number around. Value not super high on those. So that completes 1909 and 1910. Next up, 1914. And there are only two branch mints in play this time around as well. And this is the 1914 Philadelphia Minted. And you can see it's got some problems. So at the neck, there's some damage. And I can feel in my hands it's been treated with something. And it just doesn't look good. So wouldn't grade out. Uh, I don't think it's had the mint mark wiped out. I think that's just polishing marks, I hope. Uh, this one, even in rough condition, is close to a $100 coin. Um, I didn't pay quite that much, but very, very happy to add this to my collection. And I must say, it is difficult sometimes making these videos because information is incorrect sometimes in even your most trusted resources. So the red book kind of led me wrong here. Let me show you. Almost gave out bad info. So it's not 124,000 minted. It's 124,230. So come on now. And they did correct it kind of down at the bottom, but I'll show you another. There you go. But there's another place where they show the mintages in order of highest to lowest. And you can see 1914 is the lowest, but they got the number wrong. Come on now. And what makes this one extra sought after is it's also the lowest minted proof year with only 380 proof coins. So 1914S and kind of... Not the best specimen, but again, a nice book filler. Happy to have it. Uh, 992,000 minted. So, kind of completes that upper section, and I'm happy about that. So, very, very nice. So, let's review. All right, let's see if we can do this without making everyone ill. This is page one. Upper and lower finished. So very happy about that. And here are the reverses. And yeah, some are a little rough, but happy to add those or have those, I should say. Page two, a little little empty. Nothing uh we got some we gotta do some work here, but do have a couple of decent ones. Those 1907s are no slouches. So, and page three. Also missing a lot. So, 
Definitely got some work to do, and that, woo, that one's pretty wild. Needs replacing, 1906, Philadelphia. And page four, same kind of thing. We do have more filled in here, but we need some work on 1909. I mean, uh, 1908, I should say. But we've got all of 1909, 1910, 1911, and 1912. There's the S. Here's all the reverses. And that one's seen better days last page upper level finished that is so cool that one especially and we just have those three left so i thank you so much for watching coin sense and nonsense and until next time bye bye